to become the first nation to reach 10 million coronavirus cases. Fox size Eric Richards joining us live in the South Bay as the case rate continues to surge in San Diego County. Eric, good morning. Yeah, our numbers continue to rise. Good morning to you, Shelley. Good morning, everyone. Yes, I mean, nationwide, there was about 100,000 new cases reported yesterday. Here in San Diego, our county has finally reached, surpassed that 60,000 mark. So, yeah, numbers, cases rising. Let's go ahead and take you to this graphic right here with the latest numbers because yesterday, 513 new cases were reported, bringing the total now to, again, more than 60,000. There were no new deaths. County health officials, meantime, did report seven new outbreaks. Now, tomorrow, we will find out whether or not we officially enter the purple tier the state's most restrictive. Our numbers already qualify us to be in the purple, but restrictions are not yet in place. San Diego County has been in the red tier for months, as we know, skirting, but ultimately avoiding the purple, which would close down almost all indoor operations of non-essential businesses. Remember, a county has to be in a tier for a minimum of three weeks before it may move to a less restrictive tier if it's safe to do so. Here's what Supervisor Nathan Fletcher said last week about our numbers rising. In the month of October, our unadjusted case count went from 7 to 7.2 to 7.8. Uh, it's now gone to 8.7. Um, and over the course of the last month to uh, month and a half, uh, our, our considerably higher than, than average testing has been able to provide an adjustment factor, which has kept us in the red tier. But again, there are limitations uh, on how much uh, credit you can get and how much that can help when your case count continues to climb. Yeah, I'm back out live. We're here live in the South Bay at one of the testing sites, free walk-in sites in San Isidro. As you know, too, the South Bay hit primarily hard by COVID-19. For a complete list of where you can go to get tested, we have that on our website, fox5sandiego.com. I'll get it back to you. All right, Eric Richards, thank you for that update.